camel. It looks creepy. Why don't you want a camel? Big. It looks it's creepy. Huge. It is kind of scary. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. We're getting started early this morning. I'm sitting here on the hearth of our fireplace because somebody new has came to Walker Farm. Well, we've got five other newbies coming to Walker Farm. We're gonna go pick them up here in a minute and you will not believe it, it's the biggest investment we have ever made and we chose to make it in Highland Cattle. So you have to come along. You're going to love us going, picking up these cattle as a family, bringing them home. But first, I wanted to show you who stopped by. So this is David. David comes every year about this time, and he is looking for baby Jesus. So he comes, and he stays here until he finds baby Jesus. So some people have elves that come to their house. Well, at our house, it's old David. Um, Cassie might be able to tell you a little more about it in a little bit. She might want to share, but we have a book that goes along with it. And a lot of times when he comes, he brings a little present a little bit early. He does some silly stuff, but his main goal is on the search for baby Jesus. So I'm going to wake the kids up and let them know that David's here for the first time this year. And you guys can see how excited they get. Good morning. Good morning, Ransom. Good morning. You guys won't believe who's here today. There's somebody on our on our fireplace that hasn't been here. Hey, you guys him. want to tell him the rules though about David? Do not touch David. Do not touch him, or Ow. he'll have to go back to Santa because to get to get his powers fixed. Hey, look. And what's because, because if we touch him, because if we touch him, his powers will drain out. What's his? What's he on a mission for? What's he searching for? Baby Jesus, Jesus. in a manger, and that's actually my. And last year, what day did he find baby Jesus? On Christmas. On Christmas Day. All right, so maybe he'll be on this search. He goes all over our house. So sometimes you'll see him way up high. Sometimes you'll see him over in the Christmas tree. Hey, Wait, so every did, morning we have to find him. What did you? And then he brought. Then he brings hey, stuff for us. Hey, That's right. Oh. What did he bring you today? You want to show us? These. I have one of these pants, but I don't have the shirt. Oh, oh you have some of those flannel light pants. What does the shirt say? Uh, oh, it has a deer on it. That's cool. It what? What's, uh, we'll get that off. We'll cut that off so it don't mess up. Thanks, David. All right. Can I read this? So we're going to have to get ready soon can because... I read this card? We're going to go pick up something new for the farm. Absolutely. You can read that card, sissy. <gasps> we're going to go get those cows. Are you excited, Ransom? Hey, David, I need a cow, Sophie. We're going to get furry cows. Furry cows. How can I... With big horns. With big horns. That's can right. I read it? Go for it, sissy. I can't wait to go on this exciting journey with with you to find Jesus this Christmas. The Bible says that if we want to go the if we want to go the right way, we need to ask ask for God's help. God will always show us the best way to go. That's right. And there's a Bible verse on the back. What's the Bible verse? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek God in everything you do, and he will show you which path to take. Proverbs 3, 5 through, through um, 6. Good job, Mazzy. So you guys heard it first. Don't seek on your own understanding. You have to seek God. So don't rely on your own understanding. Mazzy did a great job reading that. And David is back all right where are we headed guys to get the cows where my glasses uh-oh mazzy needs her glasses ransom are you excited yeah. what kind of cows are we getting furry cows furry cows 
All right, we'll see how this furry cow goes. Maybe when we're driving back, probably they're gonna ram the like the thing. Gonna what? Like ram. Try to ram that trailer. You think they're gonna ram our trailer? Yes. I well, hope not. Yes. We we like they, our trailer. They have big horns, do they? I, they do have big horns. I'll give them that. Mazzy Ransom thinks that our hairy cows are going to try to ram our trailer. You think they'll be okay? I don't know. <laughs> Mazzy's just along for the ride. She's got some lucky charms and her iPad. She's a good traveler with those two items. So like Gary told you, we have an awesome adventure ahead of us. Uh, we're all super excited about the new farm animals. But you guys know that we were giving away an automatic chicken coop door uh, with our friends over at Run Chicken. And man, that sun is right in y'all's face, isn't it? Um, I need to announce those winners. The winners have all already been contacted. Um, we picked winner, one winner on YouTube, one winner on Facebook. But we try to always um, contact them ahead of time so that we don't have any scams or anything like that. So uh, the first winner is on YouTube goes to Katie Humes over at Humes Little Homestead. So uh, we had picked a winner. They never contacted me back. So Run Chicken said, um, find another one. So we went through, picked another winner, and Katie is the winner. So we're excited. We actually met them when we went to Arizona. And they are an amazing family starting out their homestead. And this is going to be a valuable asset to them. So we're super excited for Katie and uh, her family over at Humes Little Homestead. So we also picked a winner over on Facebook and we'll go ahead and announce that. And the winner over on Facebook is Sherry Batchin. So we're super excited about that. Sherry is always commenting and watching. So we're so glad that she was the one that won. Um, we can't wait to see uh, them use this automatic chicken door on their homestead because it has been such a valuable asset on our farm. So congratulations and thank you so much to Run Chicken for doing this fun giveaway with us. So we can't go through Tulsa and drive past the Krispy Kremes at breakfast time with a whole family that has never had a hot Krispy Kreme donut Especially before. Especially when the hot light's on. Yep, so when that red light's on under the Krispy Kreme sign, guys, that means that they are making hot donuts right now as we speak. There's hot donuts coming off a conveyor belt. Melt in your mouth. They, they have never seen this before. Used to, at a Krispy Kreme, you walk in, if they're making hot donuts, they give you one right there for free. I don't know if that's still the case, but we're gonna try Krispy Kremes. The kids have never had them fresh. I think we've only had them from a box. And so we're uh, excited that they get to try them for the first time. Water. Oh, that would be sugar, sissy. That's sugar water. So that's oil. First, They're cooking. First there's donuts without, that's dough. That's dough. And they go through there, they're cooking. See how fast they're cooking? Whoa. Uh-oh, look, this one's a lot. Is there a casualty? Yeah, look. You got stuck in the next tray. Hey, what do you guys think about that, Mazzy? Ransom? This one right here is about to come through. See how it's in the wrong tray? Oh, oh there's another one over there that gets messed up. But see how they make it themselves, and then that's how fast they cook. Uh, oh. All right, we got some hairy cows to go get, so let's yeah. get these donuts. Ranger, what did you get? Let me show everybody. Glazed raspberry filled. Raspberry filled, and me. This donut is hot, like hot, hot. Mm. It just melts in your mouth. But it's messy. So I told the kids they'd never seen a donut shop like this before. They also saw something else they've never seen before. There's the locks on the bathroom doors. <laughs> I guess people just come in here and try to use their bathroom without... Um, Let me tell you what it is. Zero, two, one, three. <laughs> oh, there's the code. I think people will just come in and try to use their bathrooms without actually being customers and they put a stop to that with coded doors. Hey, but what do you guys think of Krispy Kreme donuts? Good. You, you like them? So it's just something different. Every day, day in and day out, I kind of like our daylight donuts, our local donuts, but for something different, the kids definitely had an experience they've never had before. So we made it to our Highland Cattle um, we were getting five head total. I'll go through the names and some of the reasons why we're getting these guys when we get back home. But I just wanted to show you getting them loaded up. So there's some beautiful animals. It's 
should we buy this camel? No. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, we're buying these cows over here. Look at those beautiful things. I do not even want a camel. It looks creepy. Why don't you want a camel? Big. It it's looks huge. creepy. It is kind of scary. <laughs> Well, the camel is for sale, but I don't think it'll fit in our new trailer. So, yes, we're going to have to pass, but we are taking home these girls. That cow or whatever it is, I don't even want to buy it. <laughs> the camel? <laughs> it has a heart on its side. Oh, it does have a heart on its side. So pretty. I know, they're so cute, aren't they? Mama never thought I'd call a little calf cute like I am these. Oh, it's peeing. Are we getting that? No, we're not getting the babies. We're getting um, some mama cows that are bred, so that means they'll have a baby in a little bit. Oh, dude, <laughs> there's a rake there. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. We need one of you to jump, then everybody will follow. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. What are they going to call? <laughs> Come on. There you go. Come on. Jump up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. 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 Oh, they're definitely not crazy. No, no, they're not. Come on, babies. You're almost there. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoa, ho. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. A little more. One last step. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go. I know y'all will fit. There's plenty of room. Yeah, good job, girls. Wow. Well, you guys saw that. Um, these cows are definitely docile. I've been told that's one of the main reasons that people like the breed as well. Um, not just, I mean, there's lots of reasons to like them, but uh, they did not kick, they did not huff at us, they didn't get mad, they didn't do anything. And if we could fit him in the trailer, that guy would be fun to bring home. I'll take another trip. Yeah, I don't know if he's, I don't know if our trailer's tall enough. Oh, he's so soft. Well, we made it home. The kids went inside because though the sun is shining, it is windy and that wind is cold. So we told them just to head in the house. We would let them out and they could come 
see him later so Gary's getting backed up we're gonna keep them up here in the corrals for a little bit while they get used to being here and all the animals get used to them being here so alpacas and Lulu already out here saying what is on the farm now what'd you guys get so it's time to unload these guys and I'm trying to learn all the new terminology if you guys know it all help me out but this is a fold of Highland cattle. So Scottish Highland cattle, it's called a fold. From what I understand, way back in history, uh, they built rock type style barns and they were called folds. And then the harshest part of winter in the mountains, they would bring these cattle in. And there's lots of reasons we wanted them. We'll go over all that with you later, but right now we just want to get them unloaded. So let's welcome the fold to Walker Farm. So we're gonna let these guys settle in, let them get comfortable out here. I'll bring some feed out in a little bit and make them really feel at home. But right now, they just need to uh, get used to being out of the trailer, realize they're at a new place, and that's it. They're here, they're home. So welcome to the farm, guys. And each and every one of them has a name. So we'll come out here in a little bit and I'll go through um, what their names are. But right now I gotta get them some water set up in here so they got plenty of water to drink for the five of them for the next couple days. Oh, somebody had to come up to meet the Highlands. Lulu, Alfred, what do you think? Look how pretty this one is with all her hair. Poppy? Now you're gonna share a pasture with them, so you guys gotta be nice. Can you be nice? Can you be nice, girl? So one thing about the Highlands is those longhorns, I don't think a feeder like this will work anyway. Plus it's about empty. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this over. Uh, hopefully they'll be able to finish this stamp. So we're going to put it out here with the beef cattle so they can actually use it and it's not in the way. Yeah, we mainly roll out our hay so I don't even think it's going to get used for a while but if we ever need it we can put it right back in. So in just a few days these Highland cattle will be roaming all 30 acres of our east side of pasture. But until then, I need to get him some water. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one here since it's almost full and it looks uh, pretty good. And I wanna dump this one out and bring it back to them. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. Let's see if I can get it. So that'll be a great tank to put in there with them for a couple of days while they're new on the farm. I don't like turning any animal out unless it's a herd bull in with a, a herd of cattle because they settle down really quickly um, because they're motivated. But when you have a brand new herd of cattle, a brand new fold, excuse me, a brand new fold of Scottish Highland cattle, you don't want to just turn them out probably day one. I'm going to be safe. Uh, our neighbor has cattle. We have cattle. 
I want them to stay in an enclosed area, know where home is, know where the, the hay is coming from, and just sit, settle down a little bit. They are super docile. You saw when we loaded them into the trailer that none of them kicked, none of them offered to buck around or act crazy. We were pushing on them and giving them everything that we had to get them in the trailer. And they were just standing there and no problems at all. So let's get this uh, back there, get it filled up, and we'll be ready to uh, get them a little more settled in. Also, I need to clean out the trailer. That's the, that's the least fun thing to do. So I probably won't share that with you guys, but still has to be done. I was talking to Chad the other day about how universal one of these 16 foot stock trailers is. Uh, you can use it for almost anything. I've well, let's get these guys some water and I think they'll be set until feeding time. Luckily, I've already got this hose running out here from the other day. And move it over a little bit out of that corner. All right, let me try that right there. I have to remember these guys have some long horns so you can't put them in a corner and expect them to get their head down in that water drop. So we went in and grabbed some lunch but some of you guys have been asking about our peacock and how it's doing. He is doing great and I think Parsons is the name I've been calling him but the kids have been calling him Mr. Peabody. So I don't know if his name's decided on just yet but we've got it narrowed down to two and he's doing good. I'll show you him real quick. We have to keep him in this enclosure for at least 30 days to make sure he stays at home. So let's take a look at him. So he's a little extra nervous because I'm in here with him right now. But he's doing great. Hey, buddy. He is doing really good. He's really pretty. We're happy with him. And Ranger, what do you got on? What are you wearing? Can pajamas. you show us? Oh, David brought you guys those pajamas. Let's check them out. We got a deer with Christmas lights hanging. And why do you have that helmet on? Because I'm, cause I'm riding a scooter. So where did you get that scooter at? Scooter. From you. Chad. That's right. Chad from Adler Farms dropped this off the other day when he dropped off uh, the panels after we hauled the Beefy Boys. And it is the perfect thing for Ranger because he can move on it. You want to show him, buddy? So Ranger just loves that scooter. He's been riding it for a couple days. It's hard to get him off of it, to tell the truth. So anything that gets the kids outside, we're super excited about. So if you guys don't mind, if you're on Chad's next video, tell him thank you from Walker Farm Fam uh, for that gift he got for Ranger of that scooter. Coming in hot. Whoa. You can really move around the farm on that, can't you? Yep. So it's rated for my weight. I actually can ride it. But it doesn't go as fast and it doesn't go up hills as good. But with Ranger, it'll carry you almost anywhere, won't it, buddy? Yep, there's three different stages. There's one, two, and three. Yep, and you've you've mastered all three, haven't you? Yep. Hey, Susu. How's the girl today? Oh, we haven't seen Luca today. Hopefully he's not in any trouble somewhere, but Sue's here. Maybe Luke will be back a little later. Just hey. I don't want to scare you off. You're ready for winter, aren't you girls?
So there's a good chance they were up all night in the uh, holding pen because they knew I was coming today. So I want to get in water as soon as possible. And they're digging this hay. They look healthy though. Look at it. They're not, um, they're not poor at all. So we don't usually name our cows, so this is going to be something new for us. But I was going to try to go through real quick and tell you some of their names. Hopefully you can remember based on their tag number. So the first one is number seven. Her name is Ellie. So there's Ellie. And from what I can tell, just from the few minutes of being out here, she's kind of a herd leader. So what do you say, Ellie? Are you the boss? Are you the boss in town? Huh? think you are so this little lady like right here is number nine and she is named Reba and if anything to me reminds me of Reba McIntyre so our very own Oklahoman Reba McIntyre so this one right here is number eight her name is Cece look at that hair and those horns beautiful cow hey girl she's enjoying this hay Number 10, she's kind of been more standoffish, but that is Charlie. So Charlie could be a boy or a girl. In this case, Charlie's a girl. And the one eating the hay right now, this is Poppy. So I think that's all five of them. We are super excited to get these girls here on the farm and get to learning more about them as we go along. But we are really, really happy with them and we're really happy that we were able to find them close to home. And look at, look at these little spots on her nose. No, nope, you're gonna bury it in the hay? Let's see it. Oh, there they are. Pretty little spots on her nose. So I know I have a few Angus cattle raising friends they are probably looking at me like, what is wrong with Gary? Did he lose it? Is he going off the deep end, midlife crisis? What's going on? Well, why did we get Highland cattle? Lots and lots of reasons. We'll try to just make a video in the future um, to share all of the reasons why, but the number one reason, we like them. We think they're cool. Um, that is the main thing. There's a lot of reasons that we can um, give you and we will, but Highland cattle, we think they're beautiful animals. Um, the hair on them, as Ransom calls them, the furry, the furry cows, uh, they are really, really cool animals. So more on that later, but now I got to take Ranger over to a basketball game. So we're going to do that, but I'm going to get these guys squared away with plenty of water, plenty of uh, hay they have right now, and let them get settled in. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for some of the next videos. We'll cover our plan for our Highland our plan for our Angus. What's the future of Walker Farm? Okay, Ransom, who's playing it. basketball? Bye bye. You ready to watch? If you like it, I'm going to let Ransom stick to it.
Good game. I got buzzer beater. I know. Wow, I, I didn't video it. that. But what did you do with two seconds left? Um, scored. Busted it, didn't you? Good job. So as you can see, we've had an exciting day. But if they follow us on Instagram or Facebook, you already knew about the Highlanders. So we keep our post and our stories there most up to date. Um, we pay, post our YouTube videos on Facebook a day later, but when we get something or we're doing something exciting... Cassie's always quick on the phone. I keep you most up to date on Facebook and Instagram. So if you're not following us over there, go over there and like and follow. Um, so you will know next time we get a cool animal before anybody else. So we just got home from a basketball game. And then we went to a wedding, so now it's dark outside, and the cows are here, and I'm going to head out and check on them in just a minute, and to do that, I'm going to use a brand new light I just got from Olight, so it is a Olight Array 2S, and it's a really cool light because it has a hand control, so when you turn it on, um, you're able to like swipe, whoa, you see that? And then you swipe back, and it and it turned it back to dimmer. So it's got ten different functions. It's got a red light. It's got a beam like spotlight, and then it's kind of got a broader, like I, I would say, kind of like fog lights on your vehicle. And Gary's going to show you all those things as he goes out and check checks the cows. Uh, we use headlamps more than anything. We have a couple of these cheap ones from Walmart or wherever we yeah. got them, and. They work, but they're not great. So Gary's going to go out and compare and see the difference between this Olight headlamp and just one that you get um, at your local store. See if we can tell the difference. So uh, Gary got this awesome headlamp for Olight, and we want to tell you real quick because so many of you went and loved, or were ex glad that we shared their Black Friday sale and you went over there and got you some cool Christmas presents. Maybe you missed it, but they are having today they are starting their christmas sale um so the headlamp was something they wanted us to try out since we use headlamps so much uh the bantam 3 is also on sale right now i have the winter one um it has snowflakes on it what it still didn't focus did it there we go as you can see what just snapped on there is the charger what i love about this has a magnetic charger and then you just plug it in like you would your cell phone charges it right up for you there's no batteries uh, this one's rechargeable as well. So you guys head over um, down in our description this and in one, the comments. This one's got a huge battery pack in the back. So I don't know if you can see that or Is not. it super heavy? Uh, it's not super heavy. It fits and balances out from the front to the back. And it's USB-C, which I like because that's something that we use anyway to charge like our GoPro and our MacBook. And I noticed when you had it on earlier, it blinks in the back. So if you are out where there's road traffic or something like that they would be able to see you because it'd be blinking so it's super cool we're super happy with everything that we have tried so far with Olight and I know you will be too so in the description or in our comments use our link head over there um, and check out Olight and they'll know Walker Farm sent you so I'm gonna head out real quick and check on the um, brand new cattle so head out with me but Cassie, what are you going to do? I'm going to switch over some laundry and get Rangers basketball uh, jerseys cleaning and then see what else I need to do before bedtime. Busy times never end, so let's go out there and check out the cattle one last time. See you guys. So I'm walking outside right now, and you can see it's pretty black. The first thing I want to do, though, is show you what the little light looks like that I picked up at probably a local big box store. So that's just the normal light, and here is the O light. So look at the difference to that. The first one versus this one, huge difference. This one I think is a thousand lumens. Um, a thousand lumens is really bright for a headlamp. And I love how it lightens it up. So in the summertime, I'll be able to see if there's any snakes or anything. But the main thing I wanted to check on tonight was these Scottish Highland Coos. So some of you guys may be wondering exactly why or who has turned us on to these. And if you guys 
don't know, Chad over at Adler Farms, he has told us all about these for a couple months and we just could not resist. So he's, he's to blame. So next time you're on one of his videos, say good job with the walkers or... So straight from Walker Farm on the late cold night, we want to thank you guys so much for following along. We hope you have a great day. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Can you say bye, girl? Bye.